what's going on guys crypto chris back with another cryptocurrency update video and in this video i'm going to be doing a quick technical analysis on btc as i believe it has a big ruling on where we're going to be going with altcoins in the future i'm going to be talking about the bitcoin cme futures chart and the gap i believe that could be on its way to get filled very very soon i'm also going to be doing a technical analysis on ethereum as it's the king of altcoins and where this goes the rest of the altcoin market will follow i'll be talking about the crypto fear and greed index what it means what this can be showing us and where i believe it, it could be sending price over the next few days two weeks so yes guys it's been a long time since I uploaded a youtube video guys the reason behind this i've been trying to grow my other pages for example my telegram and my twitter which the links will be in the description and also guys if you want to keep up to date in real time on what i'm looking at with my trade setups cryptocurrency news all my ideas and thoughts the only place to find it is in my telegram and the link is in the description go make sure you guys follow you i promise you you won't regret it so first of all it's been an absolutely crazy time in bitcoin i, I believe last time i did a video um Bitcoin was around about the 30k level. We went all the way up to 65k to the dizzy heights. And then we had the bunch of bunch of FUD news. I mean, we had the Elon Musk. We had the China news. Tesla wasn't accepting Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin was bad for the environment. Everyone was banning Bitcoin. And this led to a huge 53% decline. To my surprise, even in the previous bull run, so if we take it back down to 2017, we didn't see such declines. I mean, we did see some pretty steep, steep declines, but none of that magnitude that we currently saw. I mean, we had 40% there. Obviously, we had 37% there. I think nothing, nothing had to do compared to um, where we actually hit the top and then we actually got the bottom here. So currently... Bitcoin is hovering around the 37k level. I mean, at the moment, sentiment is very, very bearish. And a way to find this is goes through the Crypto Free and Greed Index. This gauges the sentiment in the market. If currently we are in extreme fear, I mean, now extreme fear, yesterday extreme fear, last week, last week extreme fear, but notably last month we was in greed. What does this mean? So if you look at these levels down here, again, I'll notable some notable levels. Again, November, December, 2018. Where was this? So we go back to November, December, 2018. This was at the absolutely uh, pits of hell for Bitcoin size. You can see we had November, December, absolutely everybody was scared no one wanted to put absolutely no money to bitcoin but look what happened after that that point there was the lowest we've seen in over two years again we flip back to here again where did we see here this level here again august 2019 we go back to august 2019 So again, this was this level here when we saw this significant drop after hitting these highs of $13,000. And more notably, um, March 2020, April 2020, who could forget that day? That's the day that we saw a huge, huge decline in price. And we saw the, feed, the fear and greed index hover around here for a few weeks. And again look at this here again i remember at this point here everybody was saying crypto is a scam um, get your money out of exchanges don't buy into crypto it's very very dangerous and at this point here people were giving the lower predictions this is something i've noticed in the market even back here i was around for the market even when it was down here i remember people giving the one thousand dollar fifteen hundred dollar predictions that were going to go that low never happened price never went as it never went below that level and same again here i remember when we was at this level here when we wicked down to 3800 people were giving their two thousand dollar level predictions and again even same down here where price is at 37k people saying that's it we're going uh between eight and nine k i mean anything is impossible in crypto but 
to be honest, um, each previous uh, cycle high has never been tested before. If we have a look at Bitcoin historically, every time it's reached a cycle top, it's never retested it. So in my opinion, 20K will be a very crucial level. I mean, it will be max pain for a lot of people if we do see this huge decline but I say max pain always leads to max opportunity if we get to level. But, but that is a whole map for another video. Also, we have the fear and greed index laid on the actual trading view chart. As you can see, every time we've been in the green, this has been the best time to buy. And every time we have been in this significant red here, this has given us the warning sign that it could be time that people, the market is getting very, very greedy and it could be time to sell. As you can see at here, we flashed red. That was a, uh, a red warning. That was the warning sign that we had here at this level. People were getting very greedy market dumped people got fearful then we had this recovery and people started getting a bit greedy again and now we've gone back to very very fearful levels i mean it works like clock, like clockwork this is a very very reliable indicator when we're in the green guys as you can see every time we've been in the green this has been a great opportunity to buy also could we be seeing some type of reversal yes in my opinion we have seen an absolutely savage drop we've gone from 64k all the way back down to 30k we've seen a 53 percent decline so in my opinion at least some type of relief pump is imminent if we flip on to the cme chart so apologies guys for if i sound a bit sick i have been sick for the past few days but i thought i had to get this video out to you guys and once again so cme charts is where the institutional traders trade this again this is monday to friday so when we have the friday close and then we have the monday opening this creates a gap where there's been no trading over the weekend other price can drop or obviously go higher but as we dropped, it created this gap and 90% of the times these gaps like to uh, fill again. For example, on the 26th of March, we had a gap here and behold, you know it, a whole month later, this gap finally filled here perfectly. And again, we had a gap appear from 48 round about to 46K level. Also, if we get the fib retracement level, even if we get from this uh, high here down to this low again it makes sense that we're going to get a retracement to the 618 even if we bring it back down here again it works out perfectly eventually we're going to retest this level it it looks highly highly probable i mean when can it happen it doesn't have to happen tomorrow or next week it can even be a whole month before we see this gap so best believe once we do eventually reach this level it'd be up to a 30 percent gain again best believe at this point people are going to be getting very very greedy people are going to get very very bullish and all we could do is probably get a swift rejection up down i just change this to black so we could probably just get a swift rejection here and then come back down to this level and even sink back down to 20k. So in the medium term, this is currently what I'm looking at. But if I zoom in to the actual Bitcoin chart, I just want to show you what has been happening. So every person and their grandmother had this triangle um, pattern drawn here. And again, it was pretty much a set of self-fulfilling uh, prophecy if you like so everyone had this drawn here and at the moment we had this minor resistance here where around about the 37k level prices broke through and it looks like we're about to come down and retest if we do get breakthrough here best believe people are going to get very very bullish but don't forget we have some resistance here if we do break back down this level here it looks like we're going to be stuck in this channel so we have this channel here between 33k all the way up to 37k so price has been stuck in this range here so if we do come back down here i believe we'll be stuck in this range but in my opinion i think if the bulls have enough power 
and we can break this i believe the next resistance will be about 43 to 43k again it would make sense if we did break it got rejected here retested it and then actually saw a move higher so again similar with the cme chart so the 618 has given quite um, significance uh, recently in doing TA. So if I bring this across here, so again, you can see from a swing low here to a swing high, we bounce off the 618 perfectly. So it makes more sense to me that eventually this region here, again, 48K, we have the 618 retracement will be tested once we do eventually clear the 42K level. So this is what I like to see. I like to see a bounce out of this symmetrical triangle, retest, break above, old resistance becomes a new support, and then we get a test up to this level here. But I believe a lot of people will be setting the sell orders in, in this level to even come back down to retest this level. However, if we do clear this level, then I believe it's fair game to see a retest of these highs and even the recent all-time high because I think by then market structure will be changing from this downtrend to continue to the uptrend again so next I want to cover uh, Ethereum again I'm going to keep this very 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 simple so again I said about the 618 retracement had a significant uh, confluence in finding upside uh, supports resistance etc so pull this one from the low here to the high again where the price bounce from again bang on the 618 and we had a retracement here and it also seems to be we're forming a ascending triangle on the four hour so an ascending triangle is flat line of resistance but every time the, the lows are getting higher and higher which which means buyers are coming in time and time again so we could even get one more touch before we test it and guys, the more times a resistance or support gets tested, the weaker it becomes. And I believe, again, so if I draw this again for you, so we have the retracement level from the all-time high down to the low here. Again, so this brings me a target of roughly about 3,364, 3,474. Again, where we have the confluence of this cluster of uh, candles, which again, in my opinion, will act some type of resistance. We also have all support here again. This should act as resistance once again. So this is my opinion, what could be happening with uh, Bitcoin. I just wanted to do a quick analysis because it's been a very, very long time since I've done a YouTube analysis. I know you guys, some of you guys watch it and enjoy it. And hopefully you find the info useful. I promise I will try to upload a lot more often than what I have been doing recently. Again, if you follow me on YouTube, go and give me a follow on my Telegram, guys. You keep up to date in real time while I'm actually looking at and trading, etc., etc. And the link is in the description. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Crypto Chris, over and out.